in the name of allah the most gracious the most merciful dear students assalamu alaikum in this video we are going to learn about subtraction of like fractions last time we were discussing and we were solving the sums regarding addition remember that to subtract a fraction from another like fraction subtract the smaller numerator from the larger one first of all i am going to share your book page 20 with you in page 20 we are going to subtract the like fractions here like fractions are given and we are going to subtract and you will see how we subtract and uh, before starting i just want to recall the definition of uh, like fraction like fractions are the fraction having same denominator letters for example here Seven over nine, two over nine, they are like fractions. Eight over ten, two over ten, they are like fractions. In like fraction, simply we subtract the smaller numerator from greater. In part A, the first fraction is seven over nine. Second is in part A, first fraction is seven over nine. Second is two over nine, so these are like fraction. Whenever we want to subtract like fraction, we must subtract the smaller numerator from greater numerator. Smaller is two. Subtract two from seven. Seven minus two, five. Remember that the denominator stays the same. Nine remains nine. Here ten remains ten. Here four remains four. Similarly, in part B, four over five minus three over five. Four minus three, one. Just subtract three from four. Write four minus three. That is equal to one. So write over here one. And five as it is. In this way, you can subtract here six minus one, six minus one five over seven. Six over seven minus one over seven five over seven. Here eight over ten minus two over ten. Eight minus two. Eight minus two. Eight minus. That is equal to six over ten. Eight over ten minus two over ten. Six over ten. Here, just subtract four from six. Six minus four. That is equal to two. Eight remains eight. Ten remains ten. Here, six remains six. Here, four remains four. Four over six minus three over six. Four minus three. One over six. Here, three over four minus two over four. Three minus two. One over four. Here, five over nine minus two over nine. That is equal to three over nine. Part I, nine over ten minus seven over ten. Nine minus seven. That is equal to two. Two over ten. Now, in question two, write plus a minus in the circle. Three over eight circle two over eight that is equal to five. So you have to put here plus or minus. So you are just focusing this fraction, and if this is sum of these two, you will put minus a uh, plus. Otherwise minus. Look at the first one. Three over eight dash two over eight equal to five over eight. We know that five over eight is the sum of three over eight plus two over eight, three plus two, five. Therefore, 
here we will put plus similarly in part b 7 over 10 dash 2 over 10 is equal to 5 over 10 so we know that this 5 over 10 is smaller than 7 it means something is subtracting from 7 therefore it means 2 is subtracting from 7 7 minus 2 7 over 10 minus 2 over 10 means 7 over 10 minus 2 over 10 that is equal to 5 over 10 7 minus 2 equal to 5 in this way we can put plus a minus sign in the rest of here in first we will put plus here minus in part c 8 over 9 dash 1 over 9 equal to 9 over 9 it, here we have 9 it means 8 and 1 are adding therefore we put plus 2 over 7 dash 4 over 7 that is equal to 6 over 7 so this 6 shows that 2 and 4 both are adding by adding 2 and 4 we get 6 here by subtracting 1 from 9 we get 8 similarly here 2 look at numerators numerators are 2 and 6 by adding 2 and 6 we will get 8 so therefore we put plus here look at 1 and 2 by adding 1 and 2 we get 3 similarly 7 in part h 7 over 8 and 4 over 8 and answer is 3 over 8 it means when we subtract 4 from 7 we get 3 by subtracting 4 from 7 we get 3 therefore we put minus here numerators are 6 and 2 and the answer is 4 over 7 so we subtract 2 from 6 we get 4 therefore we put minus the next one is this was page 20 now i am going to start page 26 as per scheme of study the next page is 26 and yesterday i gave you homework uh, page 20 4 and 25 was your homework to in page 24 and 25 these pages are the review of the previous pages therefore and most of the students uh, have done these pages now i am going to start how we write and read four digit number before this all of you are well aware from three digit number we know that the largest three digit number is 999 and after this is the last and the largest three digit number and when we add one when we add one in 999 what will happen it will become 1000 9 plus 1 10 9 plus 1 10 carry 1 9 plus 1 10 again carry 1 9 plus 1 10 we get 1000 dear students remember that 1000 is the smallest four digit number and it is first four digit number as well now in page 27 The statement is count and write then draw beads 
on the abacus. Students, remember that this rectangle is consist of hundred small boxes. So we call it one hundred and this box consists of 100 small boxes therefore we call it 1000 and if we want to write 1100 together so first we call this 1000 and we call it 100 so the place value of four digits are one, ones, tens, hundreds, thousand. So here we have thousands and we have hundreds, but we do not have tens and ones. Therefore, in place of how many thousands here? one pack of thousand one pack of hundred and there is no pack of tens and no ones therefore we will write how many thousands here one how many hundreds here one and in place of tens and ones we will write zero and zero and similarly we draw beads here in in down of thousand there is one pack of thousand so we will put uh, we will put one bead here uh, one ball here and also we will put one ball here here there is no tens and ones so there is no need to put tens and one here similarly in this way you can count part b and c and then put the beads under ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Look at part B. In part B, how many thousands here? Look at here inside the red rectangle there are two thousands and how many hundreds one hundred how many tens two tens and there is no one so we write under thousand two because we have two thousand one and we have the pack of uh, 100. So in place of 100, we write one. And how many tens? One and two. So in place of uh, under the tens, we will write two. And uh, no ones here, therefore we will put zero here. Now, we will put beads or balls under thousand, hundreds, tens, and ones. Here, in first, in place of ones, there is zero. No need to put anything here. Here, two. So we put two balls here. Here is one. So we put one ball. And here is two thousand. So we put two balls. Similarly, we can count thousands, hundreds, tens, and ones. These are thousand. Here we have one thousand. These are hundreds. We have one. Uh, Two, three, and four. We have how many hundreds? 
four hundreds here. How many thousands? One thousand. And here, how many tens? One, two, three, four, five. We have five tens, and how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So therefore, here we will write one thousand four hundred five tens seven ones. So now put beads as per given digits. Here we have seven ones. Put here seven beads or balls. Put. Five balls here, then down of hundred four balls, down of thousand one balls. Similarly, in part D, we have how many thousands? One, two, and three. We have three thousand, so we put here three. Here, there is a No hundred, so put zero. Here we have one and two, three. We have three tens and one and two. There are two tens. So the number is three thousand and thirty-two. First we put three balls under thousand, then no ball under hundred because there are no hundreds. And then three balls under ten, two balls under one. In this way, we can count hundred thousands, ones, tens. Look at part E. in part e we have 1000 how many hundreds here 1 2 3 4 five so in place of 1000 we will write 1 in place of 100 we will write 5 so there are uh, no tens So in place of tens, we will put zero. And uh, <clears throat> how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six balls. Put here six balls. No ball here. Here five balls or beads. Uh, one ball here. And that's it. inshallah dear students in next video we will learn about four digit number and their names means how we write the name of four digit number thank you and allah hafiz